Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We're joined by Landon Cornish, the head boys basketball coach at Parkview High School. He's going to talk about a basketball game, fundraiser, and Parkview High School's partnership with Arvest Bank. Good morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate of course. it. It's good to be here. Yeah. yeah. So, what's happening? So, we host the uh, Arvest Classic uh, at Parkview. We host the first week in December uh, for four years now that they've uh, been our title sponsor and helped us do this. So, we bring in teams from Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas City, St. Louis. Um, us and Kickapoo are the two local schools. So, mm -hmm. um, just gives us an opportunity to play teams from all over that we normally wouldn't get to see and, and really bring some good basketball to Springfield. That's fantastic. So is yeah. the point being a fundraiser or is it just to play other teams? Is it to get some practice in? Well, I mean, obviously uh, it's a good opportunity for our teams and our programs to, you know, to start off the season and here at the beginning, early early stages of the year to play against some really good competition um, right. and to bring in new teams that we don't typically see throughout the year. Um, and then with Arvest, we've been able to do um, a lot of different things with Make-A-Wish Foundation last year and um, just, just really promote um, just athletics and sports and high school basketball in our area, in our school. and. Um, they've been awesome with that. That's now, great. how do you raise money? Is it, do people pay to come to these events? Or well, how do you raise, raise money? Um, for yeah. us right now, um, we do different fundraisers at the gate um, okay. with, with our vest. Um, uh, fill the box toy donations. We've done some oh. stuff like that. We did the Make-A-Wish Foundation last year where we competed with other local schools um, and fans. So um, we just do different things that they're trying to be involved in the community and, yeah. and help out with that too and not just have basketball games. Yeah. Our best it. does do that. I know they yeah. do get involved with the community a lot. Absolutely. I think they're a great bank. They're my bank. Yeah. And they, uh, they really care about the yeah. area. Um, when I first re uh, was at Web City a couple of years ago, we went down to Rogers, Arkansas, and had the Rogers Hoop Fest, and mm -hmm. that's when I first got in contact with like Arvest Bank and what they were doing for the tournament. It was mm -hmm. such a cool experience for our kids to get to go do that, and they put them up in a hotel. And so when we when I got to Springfield Air Park, you kind of got in contact with Shane Calgar and the people at Arvest Bank, and they really jumped on board and took it took it to a whole nother level. So we bring in Fayetteville, Arkansas, Raytown from Kansas City, St. Louis Lafayette, um, Jefferson City, Helias. So some really good teams and um, it's great experiences for their kids. Their coaches love it and, and it's good for those kids to get out of their cities and, and right. come to Springfield exactly. and experience what Springfield has to offer mm -hmm. as well. It's also great to see the other talent around our area, just seeing what the yeah, other teams absolutely. are doing, how the other states are doing. And we were looking at some photos just a minute ago and it uh -huh. showed the bracket. So you can kind of, kind of yeah. break down what's going to be happening over the tournament. Yeah, so we have uh, four games starting on Thursday at four o'clock. Um, we go 4, 5.30, 7, and 8.30 Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. And then um, Saturday uh, is our championship round beginning at 11 o'clock in the morning. So um, we'll, have, we'll have lots of basketball to be seen and, and be able to see a lot of good competition and a lot of good athletes. Where are these played? Um, they're all at Parkview High School in our, in, our, in our main gym, yeah. Okay, that's Can I ask good. a really dumb question? Sure. As somebody who doesn't follow basketball religiously, uh -huh. now when you get to the final game, is it... Just the one game, or is it best out of three or best out of seven? Just, just one game. Just one, one ball. chance. Yeah, yeah, just one shot. So um, our best has actually been really, um, really cool about uh, pumping up the last game when the winner gets to take home the large bracket that will be displayed in the in the gym throughout the tournament. So something cool for them to take away and, and trophies. We have an all tournament team. We give away a, a tournament MVP, and so just a lot of neat different things for kids to take home with them when they when they you know go home. As a coach, this is probably mm -hmm. a great thing for you because you are experiencing a lot of different uh, team members from other places, yeah. and it's going to give you uh, some good strategies for the boys yeah. and some coaching Absolutely. ideas. Absolutely. So the best part about bringing in people from all over the area and you know out of state and and mm -hmm. you different styles, you know, you, you yeah. run against mm -hmm. different groups and different ways that they're going to play. So um, it's good for our kids to get exposure of playing kids from St. Louis and Kansas City and Arkansas uh -huh. too. Um, so it's really a benefit for everybody. Do you put, uh, Kelly brought up a good point because I was thinking the same thing. It was like, it's great for the, the kids to interact with each other and play sure. them. But as a coach, do you, like when you're watching some plays, you're like, hey, that coach had a really good play. Yeah. I might try to utilize that in our team this year yeah. or take ideas or just brainstorm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great for us because, I mean, coaching is about relationships with, with players and with other coaches. So now here yeah. being the fourth year that we've, you know, had most of these teams back for the Arvest Classic is you get to build relationships with those guys. Um, we have a big luncheon on Friday that Arvest sponsors, which is awesome because then the players get to eat together. So oh, they kind of mix and match and get to meet kids from out of town and, and get to know the other teams. And we get to, as coaches as well, get to know them. So um, we get to do a lot of neat things, you know, involved there. And you get to know your team better and see Absolutely. their strengths yeah. and weaknesses depending sure. on plays that they... Uh, did well or didn't mm -hmm. do well, that sort of thing. Yeah, it gives is us a lot hard? of good feedback. Is it a harder, though, because I was just thinking you were saying 
y you know, you eat with them, you get to know them. Uh -huh. Is it harder then to be competitive with somebody you know and like then after that? Or once that game is on, it's like competition, you've got to go? Yeah, it pretty much clears away. <laughs> whenever it becomes time to play, it's time to play, so but you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. that's what they yeah. said in like exactly. boxers. They said, you know, we're, we're, well, we're, we're fine, we're friends out there, and then, but yeah. when you get in the ring, it's like, you know, yeah. See, that would be hard for ring. Me to, to what I meant to say. Divide the two. I'd be yeah. like, but he's my friend. Yeah. Yeah. And then they'd be like, boom, boom, boom man out. out. Yeah. No. Or yeah. just kind of slam dunk. Yeah. And like, oh, yeah. good job, teammate. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Well, this is a great thing. Tell yeah. everybody again the times and when it is. Yeah, so the Arvest Classic will tip off Thursday night. Uh, four o'clock, um, play four games Thursday, four games Friday, and then Saturday beginning at 11 a.m. Okay, awesome, that's Landon. Great. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That's and I'm weekend. glad you're here, Landon, because yeah. guess what? Now it's time to take a look at what's <laughs> happening in the whole wide world of sports. <laughs>